overlap the two rubber membrane sheets to be joined by a minimum of 75mm 3 inches. Mark 8 to 10mm out from the top sheet edge onto the base as a guide for applying primer. Use EPDM rubber primer on the rubber membrane. Apply rubber primer in long even strokes using the line marked as a guide. Primer should extend a minimum of 8 to 10 mm past the top sheet edge. Make sure the primer does not puddle. Apply EPDM rubber primer to the back of the top sheet of EPDM. Ensure the primer is touch dry and does not string when finger is removed. Apply splice tape to bottom sheet ensuring that primer is still visible along the edge. Cut the splice tape and smooth into the angle change of the upstand making sure that the tape follows the corner. Allow the top sheet of rubber to fall back into position. 2 to 8 mm of splice tape should be visible. Cut back the top sheet if necessary. Remove the splice tape release film by pulling at an angle and smooth the top sheet onto the tape being careful not to trap air in the joint. Fold back the top sheet of the rubber before removing the release film. Carefully roll the top sheet back into position paying special attention to the angle change. Use a seam roller to apply pressure to the new splice joint. Measure your upstand height and add 75mm 3 inches to the measurement. A T-patch needs to be installed over any angle change in the splice tape. Cut the 6 inch PS uncured cover tape to size and round off the corners. Mark the position of the cover tape ready for the primer. Ensure primer is applied a minimum of 8 to 10 millimeters past the cover tape edges and allow to dry before installing the cover tape. Install the patch and apply pressure with the silicon seam roller. Install the plastisol wall trim if necessary and apply mastic to the wall chase and plastisol wall trim.